you practice in Denver area, Denver suburb of Colorado, yes? Correct. And Colorado was also one of the states that first legalized cannabis for recreational use, correct? That's correct, yes. You talked about the smoking part when it came to nicotine. Um, if, if a patient is out there and they smoke cannabis, um, A, does, does that, does that, we talked so much about periodontal disease, we didn't cover this the first time, does, does that, does it hurt, help, or does it matter when it comes to periodontal disease if you're smoking cannabis? A very good question because that's why when we talked about smoking, mm -hmm. I made a differentiation of smoking cigarette, cigarette right. smoking, right? right? Excuse me. So what happens with cannabis is the consumption, the consumption of cannabis, whether cannabis, whether it is through smoking or ingestion or candies or, or edibles or things like that, uh, the audience have to understand that there are two main ele elements of cannabis, which is the THC mm -hmm. and the CBD. Mm -hmm. THC in some strains of the plant, and some plants have a high strength of THC, is the component of the cannabis that makes you high. Right. That keeps you comfortable, keeps you calm, keeps you good, you know, feeling good, right? right. And I never tried, believe me, but anyhow, uh, I have a lot of patients and friends that do, right? Yeah. So that strain is the one that actually doesn't have any benefits to your health. Okay. okay. So does it hurt? Uh, well, that is controversial and I perhaps <laughs> I shouldn't uh, di dive into that because okay. I have my thought process because, you know, it depends on what type of disorder you're treating. If you're treating um, behavioral disorder that the THC is able to keep the patients calm and down, versus uh, getting into a deeper medication, so medications that affect mm -hmm. their, their brain in different ways. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. The THC has a great Can advantage, right? Yeah. But for our clinical part of it, for what we do, THC has not demonstrated to have a beneficial aspect. Okay. CBD, in contrast, the other component of the cannabis is CBD has um, widely being widely researched and the reason why initially it was approved as a medical treatment cannabis was because of the cbd content and there are certain strains of the cbd that you could use to minimize inflammation mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and the cbd is the the number one uh, component of cannabis that has been studied the most for the me medical profession now for our patients that small cannabis mm -hmm. for instance what i would tell them or what i typically tell them is like please abstain yourself from smoking within the first two or three weeks after the procedure because this is the critical time where you have a lot of inflammation in your mouth and things like that and the thermal exchange from the smoking of the cannabis it may just lead to more um heat and more inflammation and so on and so forth. So we don't wanna do that, we have controlled that. So I don't prevent them from taking them, okay? I don't tell them to stop. But I suggest and recommend is that if you're gonna acquire some cannabis, ask your dispensary and see if you can perhaps start using a strain that is higher in CBD, maybe an oil, maybe an edible, and maybe just ingest those in that manner because that probably is gonna help us in our journey to minimize inflammation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that is probably my take on, on, on cannabis at the moment. The, the reason I asked it in the original interview and, and just to clarify, you know, is because I, I, when I had my procedure done, I had access to a, a device called the electrical equoscope that helped with inflammation, but also I am not a big fan of opioids. I know that there's a time and a place and that type of stuff. And so I don't want to beat anybody up on that topic, but I, I prefer to not um, unless I absolutely have to. And I know that this is a highly, can be highly invasive procedure. So it'd be okay if somebody did. And I think it's okay if doctors prescribe it. And I don't want to get on that, but I chose personally to try to use CBD and this device to minimize and aid with the healing process. And I never had to take a pain pill one. 
and it really helped a lot. Yes, I think when you think about uh, surgical interventions, mm -hmm. the reason why people have experienced most pain or more pain is because the inflammatory response. Mm -hmm. The higher the amount of swelling or inflammation, the higher the amount of pain that you will you will experience. That is actually quantified and known very well known by the profession. Right. Now. There's another component that you touch based on in this particular question, and I'm not gonna expand too much on that, but it's the use of narcotics for pain control. A lot of patients do need that, right? And we're not against that, actually. If patients need it, you know, we gotta make sure that keep you comfortable. Sure. The reality of it is that if the patient is using a content of THC in the cannabis, because it makes them more relaxed and they're impair some receptor sites in the brain that interpret the pain as pain, in other words, in a layman's term, if you're high and that helps you cope with the pain, as long as you are, it doesn't impair your ability to work or you're not using it into the work environment and things like that, if it works for you, it's okay. Right. And the reason why I say this is because even though I don't want to go through the controversy and the scientific elements of this, uh, there is a tangible benefit on those things, right? Yeah. And, uh, Based on scientific elements, we also know that it doesn't have the same potential for addiction that it will be another level of, or higher level of narcotic, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I perhaps don't want to say I encourage people to do it, but I will say if you're already doing it and that helps you to cope with this, for sure. And if you have a CBD and the THC in addition to that helps you to cope better, okay. I'm not against it. Yeah, perfect. And, and I appreciate your candor on this. I know it's a touchy subject. And the fact, you know, most people wouldn't even answer it. So thank you for, for touching that. <laughs>